Hello and welcome back to Hike with Mang Yan, episode 157, where we are elevating our game, quite literally. Today's adventure, we will have us traversing a vertically inclined 7.5 miles from Franconia Notch to Greenleaf Hut. That's right, we're essentially going uphill both ways. So strap on those hiking boots tight, it's going to be an elevating experience. Today I'm heading into the woods for a four-day extravaganza. And yes, I'm packing like I'm planning to move in. Inside my trusty blue backpack, I've got my entire bedroom. Because it doesn't bring a full sleep system on a hike. There's also my kitchen. Because you never know when you'll need to whip up a gourmet meal in the middle of nowhere. Oh. And let's not forget the bathroom essentials in the form of some hygiene supplies. But the crown jewel of this pack, a whooping 3 liters of water. It's like carrying a small ocean on my back. Trust me, hydration is key when you're impersonating a turtle with a house on its back. Once I hop out of the car, it's like an immediate audition for Stairway to Heaven, the hiking edition. Seriously, the appeal starts so abruptly you'd think the mountain couldn't wait to meet me. There I am, puffing away and wondering, how endless is this vertical adventure? Every corner I turn, I half expect to find the next intersection, or a wise old sage who give me the answers, or at the very least, a switchback, or two, to break up the monotony. Rumor has it, every hiker's inner monologue up this slope sounds something like, please, almighty trail, grant me a flat piece of earth for just a moment. The Hickory Tusok Moth Caterpillar is the forest version of that stunning but prickly friend. Adorable yet deceptive, its fluffy coat screams, hug me, but in reality, it's more, touch me and you'll regret it. It's nature's fuzzy little reminder that sometimes beauty is best admired from afar, lest you want to rush as a souvenir.
Picture Liberty Springs campsite as the Ritz Carlton of the White Mountains. Towering at 3,885 feet, it's a hiker's haven with wooden tent platforms for up to 60 trail enthusiasts. Fancy and composing privy? They've got the latest model, no flushing required. And bear with us. You'll actually want to use their bare boxes for secure snack stashing. The AMC caretakers are, are on standby, not just to preserve the leave no trace chick, but also for a trail tale or two. All this for a simple $10 per person supporting our catwalks, <clears throat> I mean the foot baths, and the fabulous caretaker fashionistas. Oh, and true hikers, you need to ask about the VIP pass for a walk through nature in style. Atop the Franconia Ridge, I celebrate victory with the humblest of feasts, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. With each bite, I savor not just the flavors but the triumph. Seated on a rock thrown by the trail sign, I'm the unofficial greeter of the ridge, offering smiles and hellos to fellow adventurers. Here, atop the world, is not just about the journey or the destination but the shared moment of connection, one sandwich and greeting at a time.
sweet, sweet reward after a relentless uphill battle. Finally, a view that makes all my aching muscles whisper, worth it. Just when I thought the mountain might just be trolling me, it unveils a panorama that catches my breath quicker than the climb. There it is, laid out before me, sweat glistened brow, a grand vista so grand, so utterly majestic. It's like nature's own standing ovation. Here's to uphill struggles. They really do lead to best views. vistas grander, views that stretch even wider, as if nature herself urges onward, promising that the best panoramas await those who persevere. Bigger, better, breathtaking, they're just a few strides away. Haystack, not quite tall enough for the 4,000 footer club, but with views this good, who needs the extra height? At 5,089 feet, serves as Franconia Ridge silver medalist in the height department. But who needs gold when you've got 360 degree views that'll knock your socks off? Just make sure you don't blow away in the breeze up there.
Before me stands the mighty Mount Lafayette, peaking at a lofty 5,260 feet, the king of the white mountains outside those boisterous presidential upstarts, and the crown jewel of Franconia Ridge. Famous for selfie-worthy panoramas and a trailhead you could practically stumble onto from Interstate 93. Oh, and for a bit of downhill luxury, follow the Greenleaf Trail, where I'll be staying, into the embrace of the Appalachian Mountain Club's Greenleaf Hut. It's like a mountain royalty sent out a welcome mat. I track down to the cozy green leaf hut for a well-deserved rest. Thanks for joining me in this adventure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next trail. Happy hiking! Mm -hmm.